what is going on everybody today we have family guy deleted scene season 13 part one through six now this is going to be like a pretty long video of course it will be a try not to laugh challenge so this is going to be exceptionally hard um well it maybe maybe it won't because so far all the new seasons of family guy haven't really been that funny so I might be able to slide on past this challenge with no breaks, but I've been wrong before. Okay, almost done with this one. Oh boy, the senses are gonna go crazy over this one. You know, she's right. We should get out of town till this all blows over. All right. Oh wait, if we do that, who's gonna sign for all our deliveries? I'm expecting a burning garbage can. Eh, look bigger online. <sighs> all right, let's see. Cow, sun, cloud. And I'm just getting warmed up. Wow. Aw, oh, crap, my keys were in that car. I need them for precision ball scratching. Jeez, what the hell am I gonna do now? I got no money, no car, and a whole family with nowhere to stay. Well, I found if you get real drunk and disorderly, they let you sleep here. Now, that won't work. My baby has four beers, he passes out. Well, then you can stay with us. Hold on. What's in it for me? We've got chairs. You play hardball, sir. I'm in. Homer was bluffing. There were no such chairs. Why would that be an incentive, though? Yar, what happened to your eye? What happened to your eye? You go first. Okay, count to three. One, two, squid. squid. I forgot hey, he was basically Dr. the Nick. same person. Hi, everybody. I, I'm just one person. I'm glad we were invited. This actually got me out of the performance I was supposed to do today. Yes. Yes. Well, I should. Yes. Who? 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 Who is on first? That's the man's name. Yes. That's it. Yes. What? <gasps> it's all right, little buddy. There's hope. Let me tell you the story of another squirrel that... I wish I had his balls. How did I know he was gonna do oh, that shit? Oh, so that's what Nike was talking about. What? <laughs> Just did it. All right, Chris, enough swimming. Let's get out of the pool without drying off and hang out by the food table. Mmm, ah, these chlorine Doritos are my favorite. I like these soggy cheese doodles. Come on, don't be shy. Drip right in the dip. People want to taste your body water. I hate that shit growing up. I hate it. You ruined our shit. store. It, it, it's practically a strip club. Uh, you're only saying that because it is $7.99 Indian buffet. The only sagging I like is sag paneer. Now you can say giggity. <laughs> Enter so and prepare to be entered. What? Oh, hey. What do you want, Brian? I have company coming over. I don't want to take too much of your time, but I, I had to come over here and say thank you. This isn't about the teeth, is it? It's about so much more. The teeth changed my life. You changed my life. Look at me. I'm a realtor now. And it's all thanks to you. Oh. Well, you're welcome, Brian. I'm glad I could help. Hey, Mort, do you know anyone with money? Yes. Anyone willing to spend money? No. My God, there's vermin in the fridge and pineapple. Save some for me, little fellas. All we got to do is cut around their nibbles. Cleveland. Scram, this is mine now. You're too damn big for that cart. <sighs> that one was pretty good, I ain't gonna lie. The one where he was, they were getting out the pool. Dude, I used to, I used to hey, go on the pool parties when I was younger. And like kids used to always do that shit. They they don't even dry off. There's food like you know 
I guess the parents have left out food for us to enjoy at the pool party. Why did it always taste like chlorine? <laughs> I'm so glad they pointed that shit out, but let's go ahead and jump to part two. Huh, finding a turkey is gonna be harder than we thought. Yeah, this is becoming a nightmare. Like when a married woman runs into any guy she went to high school with. Hi, I'm Jim, and this is my wife, Veronica. Oh, I remember you. You did gross stuff to my friend. Listen, we need a turkey for Thanksgiving, and we don't have a lot of time. Well then, let's stop messing around and talk turkey. Brian, I'm gonna use that one when we get back home. Great. The water completely killed my phone. Oh, horrors. You have to spend time with me without looking at your phone. Here, give me yours. It's gone. I don't know where it is. Um, hello? I'd like to order 6,000 pounds of worms, please. What the hell is a bullseye? Bullseye was the best penny candy ever. Only had one flavor, black pepper. You put it in your mouth, you hated it. It hurts your face to smell it. Because that's what candy is supposed to do. Get you mad. You chew it up, you spit it out, and go back to work at the mill. God, I can't eat oh, this great. I'm going to get killed by a cat. They'll never let me live this down in doggy heaven. I'm nervous. <laughs> hey, there's that guy who got killed by a cat. <laughs> Shut up. How'd you guys die? We bit kids. Woo! Biting kids! Yeah, unpettable! I miss biting kids. Uh, I love the mall at Christmas. Yeah, this place is alright, but I prefer the malls where you have the choice of a white or a black Santa. Ho ho ho! Hey, hey, hey! The elevator's taking forever. I I'm just gonna use the stairs. There were two homeless people eating each other in there. I saw that one too. Hey, I'd like to ride your ass into Jerusalem. Okay, Jesus, it's 3 a.m. So any woman still in here wants to bone anything not covered in vomit. The key is to pick the woman with the most fruit in her drink. She wants attention the most. There's one drinking out of a watermelon. Hey, nice Donald Duck sweatshirt. I'm Jesus. I'm Colleen. Did you spill your drink? No, I'm lactating. This happens every time I hear my baby cry from the car. And you have a lovely evening. For real. Boy, this must be killing you. You're an atheist, and the one guy you don't believe in is getting to bang the woman of your dreams. Oh, is he banging knowledge and reason and science? Because those are my three best gals. Don't forget your fourth best gal, Chris's old stuffed rocking horse. What happened to Bronco Billy? Wow! There's something in it this year! Settle down, Meg. It's the upstairs bathroom trash. School ended hours ago. Sorry, I got held up. Come on, change! Stupid. Yes, and you should pay close attention. You've got a lot to learn in a short amount of time. Like a fruit fly. All right, son, I'm your dad, there's your mom, this is your house, you like fruit, and we're all dead. Now, Chris, this is very exciting. Right through those doors are the hearings for the Teapot Dome scandal. Oh, Teapot Dome, heavy stuff. Chris, this is one of those things where you have to be there. Really? Right? Well, why don't you explain to Chris what the Teapot Dome scandal was? No, no, I, just, just let him watch, you know? Y you don't want this old dog to get in the way. <laughs> this is juicy stuff. No, I mean, I, I'm just saying, you know all this juicy stuff, so why don't you cut them off a piece and serve it up? Well, I mean, you can't, you can't take pieces, you know? It's very complex. You, you have to take the whole scandal. You don't even know what country we're in. Of course I do. We're in the United States. Okay, what's the year? I'd say pre-Boardwalk Empire, post-Game of Thrones. I'll tell you what, I'll give you the year. 1922. Who's the president? Oh, I tripped. <sighs> that one was also good. The fruit fly one was pretty funny. By the way, I hate, I cannot stand fruit flies. They're like the worst to get rid of. But um, anyway, let's go ahead and get to part three. There's <clears throat> only one rule here at Peach Blossom Plantation, Stewie. Curse I saw this too. Well, I got a confession to make, Daddy Johnson. I got a hankering for some mischief. Well, now that's in direct conflict with the rule. My rule is honesty. I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do. But it don't mean I doesn't love you, Daddy Johnson. Oh, Stewie, you done gone and buried your way into my heart like a field mouse. 
But I still got to discipline you. Should I strip to my ankles, Daddy Johnson? I was just gonna give you a talking to, but yeah, just shoes and socks, do we? I like the South. We got different ways than they do up north, but it seems to work for everyone. Chris, we have got to get off this boat. The Titanic was one of the biggest disasters in history. Oh? Would you say it was a bigger disaster than the Teapot Dome scandal, Brian? The point is, this boat is going to sink. Give me that. I want to look at bad real estate agent hairstyles. Oh my god. This one's not bad. I'd buy a house from this guy. Oh, thank god. Every time I walk past him, he says I'd hit that. You wish. Uh, okay, why should I get surgery? I'm sure Jesus Christ has this under control. Okay, it seems to be getting worse. Hey, um, I was told there would be a lollipop at the end of this. Oh, I'll take a big old timey one that a boy with long blonde ringlets would eat. Ah, <sighs> 14 hours of standing. Cannot wait to be home talking about how awesome this was. And it says it's the foot of their biggest star. Every concert. Not their most popular, just their physically biggest star. <gasps> That's gotta be Meg. Let's go. You guys go ahead. I gotta get to a cocktail party. Guess what that is? Butt stuff? <laughs> yeah. Wow. A lot of people OD at these things. Oh, uh, yeah. This episode of Family Guy is brought to you by Macmillan Mass Grave Excavation Equipment. When you think mass graves, think Macmillan. Peter, where do you get checkbooks from? Uh... The farm? Kira, you totally rock for bringing those. Yeah, don't let me drink all of them. I'll make out with another girl. Yeah, and pee everywhere, like on me and stuff. Come on! All right, people, we're ready to commence this sentencing hearing. Is the defense ready to call its first character witness? We are, Your Honor. The defense calls Peter Griffin. Good luck, Peter. Don't worry, Lois. It's all about confidence. I learned that from a confident black woman in a Cadillac. Excuse me, miss, do you know how to get to Faneuil Hall? You got it! What, what, what do I have? That's right! What's right? I, I, I still have no idea how to get there. Please, I have a meeting. You get yours, baby! And that's exactly what I did. <laughs> it's a boy, Mrs. Quagmire. Ah, oh, that's wonderful. How do you feel? Horny. Really horny. Could you put him back in and out a few times? I was born nine times that day. That was she even had a fling with Stephen Hawking. In fact, he credits her as the inspiration for his theory on black holes. I believe there is a force that sucks everything in its path. It swallows objects whole and never ever spits them out. Not even a dribble. It can take on planet after planet after planet and still have infinite room for more. It welcomes the challenge of light and dark matter alike. Dr. Hawking, when did you discover this force? In a bathroom at the beach. Don't worry, Lois. I'm gonna find that tricycle. I'll just have four to five beers to stop the shaking, and then I'll go outside. You know what, Peter? Maybe we can give you a hand. Yeah, we'll help you look. I'm in. All right, guys, let's solve this mystery. And you kids at home can help us solve the mystery, too. Just go to FamilyGuyKids.com. I've heard this oh, one. it's just someone crapping in his hand. All right, now you gotta get in good with Heather's family. If her parents like you, she's gonna want to sleep with you. Saw this one Mr. Too. Garbage, I appreciate that I'm a guest in your home, but Barack Obama is still my president, and I'll be damned if I'm gonna sit here and let you talk about him like that. Shut up, Heather! I am talking to your father! And you, Mrs. Garbage, I'll thank you to stop sticking your foot in my crotch! And Jimmy Jr., just tell him you're gay! It's so obvious! Okay, I've definitely seen some of these clips in, like, other compilations, but, um, I'm not sure which one. It, it, I've done so many Family Guy, like, uh, compilations that some of them are appearing in this season, but, um... There are some that I haven't seen. I, I haven't seen the one where he pulls up next to this black lady and, and she's like, you got it, baby. That one was probably the funniest one out of all of this, but um, let's jump into part four. Hey, Heather, how was your day? Oh, I see you're missing one of your hands again. Brian! 
Sorry, man. I'm obsessed with this thing. I think a female dog might have peed on it. Jesus. Peter, is Chris still in bed? Oh, I hope he didn't take it too hard when you made him get rid of that doll. Oh, God! Good morning, everybody. Heather won't be having breakfast. She already had a big sausage. Oh, wait, so we do have sausage? Because I asked for sausage, and I was given bananas and applesauce. Oh, I, I don't know if you're gonna be in it, Joe. I, I thought while we filmed, we'd just keep all of our stuff on your lap. As long as I'm a part of it. And I don't want you telling people you were a part of it. It still sounds like fun. It won't be fun. All right, have fun. Poor I'm job. late. Late? But, but I thought you and I could stay in and watch Meg get ready for her bath. All right, she's got her scented candle. Why? <laughs> her bath salts. And now the heaping plate of barely cooked ground beef. My God, she's using a lady's razor to push it into her mouth. Yep, and now to wash it all down with a cup of fresh tub water. Oh. Yeah, she didn't eat a small dinner either. Disgusting. And now I'm joined by local obese teenager and internet sensation, Chris Griffin. Chris, when did you first know you had to hustle? Well, every street crossing for me is iffy. Well, we're glad you're here and mouth-breathing with us today. Hey, the way I go through a crosswalk, I guess I'm lucky to be anywhere. Yeah, don't, don't act like you're in on it. Eh, who cares? The internet sucks anyway. Except for Kate Upton floating around in zero gravity. Yeah, I didn't care for it. Part of what's good about her boobs is knowing they're heavy. I've been meaning to ask, what's the internet? Is that like a bug? Why do we bring them to a shelter instead of an adoption agency? Oh, less paperwork. Yeah, this is for the best. I mean, I'm sure they'll be adopted. I know these is kind of unusual, but we'll take whatever we can get. Why and how? I know what you mean, Peter. He's telling Bonnie the same stuff. She's even making me participate in erotic role play. Hello, ma'am. I'm the census taker here to ask you a few questions. Oh, hello. I'm the bored, horny housewife with a crippled husband. Uh-huh. Okay. What is your name? Bonnie Swanson. Bonnie, you're not supposed to give your own name. Sorry, sorry. So, um, how often do you do this sort of work? Well, as the census taker, I come once every ten years. Well, that makes one of us. Damn it, Bonnie! You're not doing it right! You aren't either! The real guy was Latino! Well, that's just like Cleveland, running off as soon as the bill arrives. Oh, he's paid off all your tabs. Well, that's just like Cleveland, always throwing money around. We now return to sassy sitcom secretary in real life. Well, according to the research company, we need to find a way to make the product appeal more to men. Too bad there's no men working here. Uh, hey, Janine, come back here. Don't ever talk to your boss that way. I was, I was just trying to be funny. This is a marketing firm. We're not here to tell jokes. You're fired. <laughs> Last week, she wanted me to pretend she was the head of the company because her parents were in town. Who does that? All right, there's no pudding, but there is a supermodel and we're making out. Lucky dog. Wait a minute. There's a kid up here. Don't hold him like that. That was a dark humor. Ladies and gentlemen, here to accept the Lifetime Achievement Academy Award, Humpty Dumpty. I am proud to be a part of Hollywood for 50 years. I heard he raped Natalie Wood. <sighs> okay, that one was a little bit, uh, it was, it was a little bit less funny than the other ones, but surprisingly, I've seen some of these clips already, and so, um, let's go ahead and jump to part five. Well, at least he died doing what he loved, violently drowning. Oh, come on, it's not that bad. Your life could be worse. You could be a black, a black. Go ahead. A Blanket. So I'm just one. a stupid old blanket. What a lousy life this is. All right, you saved it. Oh, come so on, that. it's not that bad. Your life could be worse. You could be a bald high school kid. 
I'm having trouble deciding what I want to do with my life. Well, let's see what your options are. You can be a doctor no one respects, you could be a lawyer no one respects, you can be an architect no one respects. Isn't there anything else? You could be the fifth or sixth guy in line at a gangbang. Oh, I'll do that. What? If Brian doesn't take these pills, his condition may worsen substantially. Oh man, I can't let that happen. Brian's my buddy. We're closer than the letters Q and U. Queen. Quiet. Tariq. I don't like this. You're in for some pain, uh, I know but when I'm done with you, you'll be a helpful dog. Like one of them St. Bernard's with a mini cask of brandy. Help! I've broken my leg! Okay, well, I have a scumbag's fancy drink. Alright, Lois, uh, I did the grocery shopping, I folded the laundry, and uh, I dug up some dirt on the youngest woman in your Pilates class. Oh, boyfriend's an Indian guy, huh? Well, Brian, I gotta say, at first, I wasn't sure about this new attitude of yours, but it is nice having all the extra help around the house. I know, it's great! And with all the time Brian is saving me, I've been able to spend more time working with my foundation that gives impoverished nations things they don't want or need. All right, let's get this stuff out fast, guys. These people have nothing. All right, everybody gets a hot dog toaster and a special zigzag brownie pan so that every brownie you bake has a chewy edge. We got 300,000 Harlequin costumes and 500,000 sets of stairs that a dog can use to get up on a bed. Well, looking around, I can see everybody looks kind of thirsty, so each of you gets a Crash Bandicoot video game. All right, I'll see you guys next month, because I got a shipment coming in of those realistic testicles you hang off the back of your truck. Everything they don't need. You used me! I can't believe I converted for you! Ah! I'm sorry, Chris! I think you may still be 60 theological hours short, but I'm so sorry! Oh, what have I done? Jeez, uh, Peter, I haven't seen you this excited since you were a mailman. Bill, playboy, letter, playboy, bill, bill, playboy, 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 playboy. All right, got everything I need. I quit. Twelve copies of June. It's gonna be a kick-ass summer. I love Peter. I'd follow him anywhere. Except onto an elevator. He fat, man. Where are you off to? Well, I figure if I want to find a real friend, my best bet is to partner up with a simple migrant farm laborer. Peter, tell me about the rabbits. Uh, I, I actually thought you were going to tell me about the rabbits. That's that one movie, um, I forgot the name of the movie. It's like Mice of Men, I think it's called, where the guy, like, shoots his, like, mentally challenged friend because he killed some farmer's wife or something I read about it in uh probably elementary school middle school probably middle school not a bad book but uh but anyway let's get into the last and final compilation part six you guys i had no idea how fun it was trying on huge sunglasses i don't know do they make my face look really heavy or do they make me look amazing amazing thank you and what about my hobby of painting flowers on plates? Is it good enough to be a real business? It could totally be a real business. They always do that. Oh, Lois, I'm so glad you're here. I really need to pee. Go ahead. I'll handle the kids. No, you need to come with me. The toilets are all, like, one foot off the ground, so I need to hold on to your arm while I lower myself down. Yeah, I'm not doing that. Wow, the Bahamas. <laughs> I can't wait to get down there and get my fingers in the water. Yeah, it'll be awesome to see all your wives in bathing suits and then pretend I have to go back to the room to get something. So, when do we leave? Well, you guys sure packed a lot of stuff. Yeah, well, we're gonna be gone a week. Me, I travel light. Just two shirts, two pairs of pants, and the machine that does the work of my large intestine. We brought a machine that gives Lois orgasms. Damn it, I tried two things that all kids love. Coffee and old seed packets. And all any of you can do is stare at those Game Boy machines. I'm sick of it! Come on, Grandpa, stop it! You made me miss my Candy Crush record! God! Game Boy Sorry, machines. Peter. We had to trick you guys or you wouldn't have come. Well, you can't make me stay if I parasail out of here! Go, Tito! Oh, I forgot I took it off because I got it scared. Bend to the left, bend to the right. Get the big spring, stretch the big spring. Stop to smoke, get a big towel, 
Put it behind your neck. Tuck it in your shirt. Stub your toe. Shout a racial slur. Oh, slant tooth hat jockey! That's not a real thing. So if you associated that with a certain race, you are a racist. Well. What is in here? The soap. The little tray the soap was on. And the sink. Every year we have to deal with you American tourists. Stuffing your slob faces. Taking video you'll never watch. And flushing the toilets way too much. The general rule is, if it's yellow, let it mellow. If it's brown, flush it down. I've literally never done one without the other. If it's yellow, let it mellow or something? If it's brown, let it some Whatever he said, that shit was funny. Let me know what was your favorite clip of this whole entire compilation. Um, I want to say the most funniest one was when Peter pulled up to that black lady in, uh, in traffic. And <laughs> she was like, you go, baby. Mm-hmm, you got it. <laughs> Because that shit's low-key true, but it actually is very helpful for your confidence. So it's like, hmm. But anyway, post down below. Um, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next reaction video. Peace.